Today I'm going to be working with an AI track. Shock horror. And uh, I've read all the things about AI and how we're all frightened of it in the music business and how it's going to take over the world. And I've watched a couple of YouTube um, videos uh, you know, where people are, are frightened of it. But within TV, I've always been directed by a director that says, right, we want a track that sounds like Green Day crossed with some other act and they'll give you a whole pile of different genres for you to look at and they want a, a song in the style of for their uh, project and then they may sort of write down some lyrics well we want to have these lyrics in it because it's to do with the show so you're always directed well this week for the first time a director has sent me an AI track that he created by getting his ideas out so that he could then show it to me and for me to create something from it. Now with all the AI stuff, it sounds really pristine. Uh, you know, they're all, I suppose they're using the same sort of um, um, software. So they all sound pretty similar, very quantized, very slick, you know, perfect in every way, except without any humanness in it. So I'm going to play you this as an example of what he um, sent me. OK, it's got that sort of real gloss sheen that you get from mastering tools and things like that. And obviously it's had a load of references put into it to be able to come up with that. And it ain't that bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take certain elements of the arrangement and then put on my own guitars and uh, drums and bass and all that stuff and then get in vocalists to then sing it. And I'll probably change some of the chords and um and change the arrangement but it's it's the first time i've done something like this and it just goes to show that ai has helped that director to be able to point me in the right direction for his show and um you know we've we've just got to get used to it and i think that if you're afraid of technology oh it's just going to be miserable for you um and, and for me so i've I feel as though I've got to adapt all the time. Whatever technology comes up, you've got to adapt with it because it's not going away. So I'm going to start working on this today and see how I get on. And I'll, um, I'll post up some of the results to, to see what people think. <laughs> 